Hi everyone. I, I really can't sleep. Um, I'm going to cut straight to the chase. I'm going through pain right here in the side of my head here, here and here. Now, um, up until now, it was only pain in this tooth right here. And if you can look closely, you can see, um, or at least, you know, if somebody touches my tooth, they can feel where it's swollen, where the weapons have hit. But here is like, it's constant. It's like here, here, here. And it's constant. It is constant pain. Um, the way it is, it's that it's not severe enough so that um, I can really make a big deal about it. But I can't sleep either, which means I'm, I'm awake. Everyone's awake. Oh. Uh. Again, because it's winter, that's when um, people handling the electronic weapons, they like to do this to people. They like to do this to people during the winter. Because during the winter, our muscles are more likely to seize up and our, and our bones um, are more likely to be fragile during the winter time. So that's when they like to crank up this torture. Now, I've been through this before. I went through this um, in in January 2021 where all this side was was being attacked and you know in particular down here it was really really bad it was so bad um it again because I'm getting older and the the psychological harassment um it's less troublesome for me even though I've had breakdowns um, there's more emphasis on the physical torture now. So that, that it's just one of those things. It's just what happens. If you notice, my face is slightly misshapen and swollen. And I've got like definite bone loss on this side, which you can definitely see. One side of my face is way leaner than the other side. But that's because of bone loss. It's not because of weight loss or muscle loss. Um, but yeah, it's definitely electronic weapons that are doing this. It seems like they. It seems like the torturers want to make a statement, um, but then again, I'm not the only person. I'm not the only targeted individual going through this. So maybe it's a rota, rota or something. I don't know. But winter is the time where the electronic torturers like to crank things up because there's more of a chance that people die during the winter because of the conditions. So it wouldn't be. It wouldn't surprise me if this was just another example of fusion centers or private security companies trying to cast their nets as wide as possible to ensure maximum injury and, and death, let's be honest. Um, so yeah, this is um, a regular thing during the winter time. Um, I also wanted to bring up the fact that um, my mental breakdowns are also they also happen like clockwork. You could literally set a time. You could literally set a clock by my mental breakdowns. The last mental breakdown that I had, the last really big one during winter, was on the 12th of December 2021. The breakdown that I had this year was on the 15th. Once again, it's always on a similar day at a similar time. And it's always during my period. During my period is when the, the weaponized frequencies are cranked up. It's when um, the it's when I get the really bad pain in my pelvis and stuff like that. It's always during my period. That's always when the pain is cranked up most. And also the weaponized frequencies are cranked up most. I'm noticing that the pain in the side of my face is going. That's because um, the electronic torture tends to lessen or cease when a TI makes a video. Oh, yeah. Oh. And staying in the cold, it makes it worse. So how many people are out there now thinking that they've got some kind of muscle spasm disease or arthritis when really it's, they're just being fired on with electronic weapons that are deteriorating their bones and deteriorating their organs and deteriorating their muscles but coming back to the mental breakdowns you can literally set a watch by them that's because they're coordinated it's not even just with me again 
it's with a lot of people during the winter. Now, naturally, anyway, there's less sunlight. People are indoors more, which means people are going to be using more technology, which means that people are going to be more likely to be anxious, depressed, upset. And then on top of that, they're going to be less likely to exercise. They're getting less vitamin D. So in the first place, there's a natural predisposition, predisposition towards lower mental health and physical health qualities. Like I said, in one of my statuses, right, there's natural inclination towards being less healthy during those times anyway. But what's happening now is that those, those natural occurrences are being exaggerated with electronic weaponry, with psychological harassment in my case, with, um, with financial abuse, with, you know, all the rest of it. It is exaggerated by torture in order to, you know, in order to say, well, it's just the time of the year. It's just the time of the year. It's just, it's just how it is. No, this is not just how it is. This is not natural. It's not natural that somebody of my age is going through this much bone loss. I might not be a spring chicken anymore, but it's not natural for somebody my age to be going through this amount of bone loss. It's not natural that during the winter, like clockwork, I'm always having a breakdown on a specific time of the year for no reason. It just doesn't make any sense. All of it is coordinated. All of it is is um, prearranged. And again... Because I'm not the only one this is happening to, I'm pretty sure that winter is being exploited in order to cause as, as much pain to as many people as possible. I feel like this happens with every major holiday or every every turn of the season, every solstice at least, summer and winter. Um, but again, these, these are just hypotheses. One thing I do know for sure is that weapons are being fired at my head and I can't sleep. And I know for sure that my mental breakdowns are coordinated because there's the voice to skull to consider on top of the weaponized frequencies, on top of the electronic torture in my body, on top of the psychological harassment. So there's no way that all of this isn't scheduled or planned in some way. Mm. I just want to be able to sleep. Now, at this point, I'm used to the sleep deprivation. So, you know, this alone wouldn't send me crazy these days because I'm, I'm used to I'm used to it. I'm used to it all. But it's just, um, it's a lot. This is why I realise this is one of the reasons why when my emotions are weaponized, I say the things that I say because the, you know, Quite clearly, my bone is being attacked right now. I don't know who's doing it, but my, you know, at this moment, but my bone is being attacked. My organs are being attacked. I can't sleep. It, it, it's depriving me of sleep. I'm being harassed every five minutes, being disrespected every five minutes. And none of this is my fault. And yet I'm catching the most heat for it. It's it's just absolutely disgusting. And, and I just have to wonder, like, Again, like I don't want to, I don't want to reiterate the point, but this is exactly why I get frustrated, and this is exactly why I get angry. Why are there weapons being fired at my head? Why are there weapons being? And it's not even just me. There are so many people going through the same thing right now. Not even just in this country, in the UK and the US, and God knows how many other countries around the world as well. Why are we going through this shit? I saw an article that said that the American government was targeting about 8 million people for various reasons. That they were being treated as enemies of the government and, and it, usually for very trivial reasons. So it's 8 million people in the US alone most likely being targeted with, uh, you know, if not with electronic weapons, indefinitely with weaponized frequencies. Eight million people in the US alone. On a watch list. For nothing. How many people would be 
on a watch list in this country for nothing. And once again, my targeting is intergenerational. It didn't start with me. I'm, I'm just the one that's making the most noise about it. Attacking my fucking bone for what? Like, mm. I'm not gonna be able to sleep tonight, but um, I don't know. I'm gonna try anyway. I'm gonna try and get some rest. Though. Oh. But anyway, I will go, I will uh, try to get some rest, but I'll see you guys soon, take care.